This demo will show new AFX7 functionality of loading existing project subassemblies from file, which allows you to load existing subassemblies from already done projects or from a kind of custom library. This can be used in example to do things like handrails, typical uh, beam subassemblies like I-beam with two end plates or typical styles of posts or things like this in kind of custom libraries. In this example we want to design a custom style of handrails on top of this platform. To do this we open the project subassemblies dialog box and we browse to a folder called custom templates. Here you can preview the existing project subassemblies which are available in this folder. In this case we see here the custom style of handrails done with uh, square tubes with already with a base plate on the bottom of the post and also screws assembled into the holes of the base plates. Now we open this and now AFX asks you to select a orientation plane and a curve for placing the subassembly on. Now you see we get the custom style of handrails assembled on top of this I-beam and along the curve. As in the library also a uh, uh, drawing is available, AFX copies the drawing as well into our current project. So you see it has the predefined drawing has a bill of material, it has some dimensions, some notes and so on. Now we can move this project subassembly like regular project subassemblies of AFX, in example to align it with the outside of the I-beam, or we also can modify it. In this example my custom handrails in the library had a height of 800. In this project we need 1000, so we just modify it and regenerate it. Now with this modified set of handrails we want to place it on other locations. In example we want to place it along this beam. So we use EFX function to assemble copy of project subassembly here and we want to copy all the horizontal uh, parts because it has a different length. So EFX copies it and we place it along this curve. Now we see as we have stairs here the handrail is too long and as it is a project subassembly we can use the join functionality and join example the red flag up to the side surface of this I-beam. So you see this makes the whole handrail shorter. We also can um, move this set of handrails so side is aligned with the I-beam and now here we see that there is interference between the two base plates. Again we go on the connector functionality and example join this red flag to the side surface of this base plate. Now the handrails are fine, the only thing is missing what is missing is the holes. You see they come in with the screws and so on but there are no holes in the I-beam. To get the holes we press the automatic UDF button and press the update function here. Now AFX makes all the missing holes in the I-beam. So if we open this I-beam we see that it has all the holes made. Now the question is how, what is required to define this in the 
set of handrails in the custom library. To do this, I close this window, erase everything and switch my working directory into this folder custom templates. I open this uh, assembly custom end plates and what we see here is that I first started in this uh, custom template assembly just with sketching one line. Then I place the empty project subassembly on it using the regular EFX functionality. After this I open this and continue design. Example I sketched uh, some curves for placing the beams of the handrails later on and only referenced on the basic datum plans and on the red and the green flag. Then I assembled again using just regular EFX functionality all these uh, square tubes and the base plate. When placing the base plate I put the option with automatic UDF attach holes to on. This allows me later on to get all the required holes just by using EFX automatic UDF functionality. Then I put in the screws on the on the base plates using AFX screw functionality. To get this offset between the washer and the base plate, I entered a negative offset value in the counterboard depth field. This will move uh, the washer away from the bottom surface. After this I saved the assembly with this uh, project sub-assembly and I did also a drawing for the handrails. Put a bill of material on, placed some views, placed some dimensions and saved the drawing. After saving the model and the drawing the EFX project subassembly is ready to be used by the EFX project subassembly load from file functionality in different projects. So, which means the only thing you have to do is create an empty project subassembly, put in all the things you want to have, save the model, save a drawing, and then you have your custom library component based on a AFX project subassembly done. And then you very easily can use it in, in different projects.